So let's give this some materials. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the shade editor, click on a new, and let's name this the sausage or hot dog, whatever, you know. Uh, and we're gonna give this a color. So what is it for a color? It's kinda brownish, right? But not too dark. So orange brownish, something like that. And uh, this is called the sausage. Then we have a new one, which is called the mustard, which is a little bit brighter. And I feel like uh, more yellowish. Something like this, and we have our bread. So the bread is a kind of a different story. Um, let's just give it for right now. We're gonna give it a very nice color like this. It's just um, a little bit to the orange and a bit darker. So if we go into our material shader, you can see that we can give these their their colors, so their materials. So the sausages get the sausage material here and our sandwich this one which we can call a bread and then we have our mustard cool so mustard is very shiny so 0 0.2 0 0.1 sausage roughness is uh, 0.3 I think you know but with the bread material, we have kind of a more difficult problem because it goes from a little bit of a darker to a wider color and we also have like a um, little bit of a noise in there. So what we want to do is shift a color ramp, color ramp, and with this color ramp we can choose um, we can choose the colors, like the different colors, but it does not really work in a gradient yet. So we need a texture coordinate. A mapping node and one more separate XYZ so we go generated goes into the factor of the mapping the factor of the mapping goes into the factor of the separate XYZ and we choose the Z axis so now you can see that the Z axis from these the object itself so it's because it's generated is black and now you can choose till where you want this black to go and we of course are not going to use black but we will use black for our noise texture so i'm going to duplicate this color ramp and we're going to do exactly the same here and let's first just give this a nice color so uh well whatever you think your bread should look like this is going to be a bit darker and that's going to be a little bit brighter. Maybe even a bit darker than this. A bit more brown than this. And then this one will be more towards the yellow, but like nice and bright yellow. So something like this. Cool, right? And you, you know you can always just change these colors. So we also want a color ramp or a bump map in here. So let's just do a bump map. And you can see that the bump map, the normal goes into the norm of this. But we don't have a bump yet, so we can do just a noise texture for now. Color into the height. You can also do the factor into the height, but they are both black and white, so it doesn't really matter. I don't think it changes anything. No, it doesn't really. So, uh, yeah, the strength is a bit too high in my opinion. 0.5, let's try that. And, of course, the skill, I think, should be something like this. Cool, but we do not really want anything here, right? It's a bit too much. So if we want to change that, we'll get a RGB RGB mix in here. Mix RGB. RGB goes in front of the bump. And the color of our color map, which we still have here, which we've duplicated, goes into the fact. So now you can see that it chooses one side, but we do want the other one. So I'm going to switch it. And we're going to put this all the way towards the white. You can change your thing to how much you want it and now you can see that we have a nice mob map on here awesome right so if you also want a little bit of a bump here you can just go a little bit more gray you can see that we have a little bit of a bump 
but that's all up to you. So yeah, that's kind of how we made it. So I hope you guys learned a lot from this. Uh, only thing you have to do, yeah, you can kind of hide these off and like create a, a render. That's it. So, and as last before we render it, um, you can see that I made a little bit of a different curve and that's kind of it. That's the only thing I did. Um, so the last thing is make a little studio. I made the studio, as you can see here, I literally just, oh, put a plane in here, scaled up, extrude the, this part in the back, then select this edge, control B, just scroll up a little bit so we get a few more of these um, segments inside here. And now click on smooth, so W, shade smooth, and add a modifier, add some extra subdivisions to it. But you can see that it gets very smooth as in these sides. So if you don't want that, you can create just a few more edge loops to get it a bit more sharp. I gave that like a random color, like just uh, like a blue color, nothing special, roughness all the way up, no metallic, that's it. And um, in the back, I put an HDRI. So what I did is I can do it all over. Here you get an environment map, environment, texture. Then you open our HDRI, which I have in here, this one. And you can get it just um, by my downloads, right? They are all included. And of here you get a, just as we did before, a texture coordinate and a mapping node, right? So it is, this one is generated by the way. So generated and factor to factor and with the Z axis. So this is zero right now. Um, you can see that with the Z axis, we can move this whole image around Z. See, so we can move this all the way around, which is, so now you can choose where you want the light to hit the hot dog. And the last thing that I would do if I was you is just go here to the world tab and settings, volume, sampling, go to multiple importance. That's it. That just works a bit better with the HDRI. And um, yeah, then just start rendering. I don't know, like nothing else is special to be honest. So uh, please send your renders in. I would love to see them. Maybe <laughs> you can make something else cool or you want some feedback. It's all good. And um, yeah. So I hope you guys learned something and see you in the next course. Bye-bye.